I'll talk to you about five reasons why you must you must teach your children your mother tongue or your native tongue first let's define what mother tongue is it could be any language your mother language is the language a baby hears immediately the child is born so it could be any language that will be the language that you speak but in the context of which I'm speaking I mean your own native tongue I mean the language that you that is of your people's you know your people's language your traditional language your country's your country tongue so the first thing is that young children's brains have an immense plasticity they as soon as they start to be aware of the environment they are absorbing so much information okay so that means they want to know what's going on they want to acclimate themselves with everything they are ready to absorb they have no two jobs then absorb eat sleep cry and do it all over again you know absorb eat sleep cry laugh and then they express based on their absorption of their environment okay so if that is true for children that their brain has a lot of flexibility you know plasticity then when you put so much in them whatever you put at very early age sticks with them for a long time it does so why not teach them your native tongue and and when it is shown that because their brain is flexible they pick the language very easily they pick up the language very easily it's you know it's naturally communicated or naturally taught to them they don't have to go to a school like we adults have to they can just sit there and you're giving them to them for free just as you're teaching them how to eat you can teach them how to speak um, your native tongue they don't know they're learning anything new they just think this is how this world that they are in is remember they know nothing they come um, as empty canvases and you when you then you then given they're given to you as empty canvases that have you know blessings that are already there waiting to be realized right and then they come into they come through you and ready to absorb so whatever you put into them they will take it all in and show you back they're like mirrors they will look at you and reflect it back so why not maximize that potential by teaching them your native tongue? Okay? It doesn't cost anything. It's just your time. You, but every time you're eating with them, you're talking to them, they're learning. You're socializing with them, they're learning. They watch the way you speak. They watch the way you walk. They watch the way things are done on this earth. So the same thing goes for language learning and language teaching. They are listening to you and doing as you're doing. They're listening to you and repeating what you're saying. And before you know it, they're speaking back and understanding everything that you're saying. And you are going to be amazed that it is of how, how significantly possible this is. So why not? Why rob them of that? Right. Okay. The second reason is studies have shown that those who speak more than one language have higher cognitive and intellectual capability than those who do not. It is not meal, don't come and bite meal. It's just studies. You look it up. Okay. So studies have shown that because your brain is now, if you speak just one language, your brain thinks within that language. But if you now have another language with which to compare maybe a particular vocabulary word, you can find the meaning, you know, a word is, for example, if it's a vocabulary word that you know in one language, right, and then there is an equivalent of it in another language, your understanding of it in one language might not be that great, but if you put it together with your understanding of it in another language, your expression is going to be out of this world. You're going to be only smarter. That child will be smarter. They will know it better. They will think about it uh, in all the meanings or definitions in one language and then be able to conceptualize it and express it in another language. So the brain is using all parts of itself, all its capacity to think in both languages to switch when it speaks, right? It has to think in one language and speak in another sometimes or you think or you're speaking in one language and and. And, and speaking and thinking in another you know so you that that interchangeability and uh, allows your brain to be more flexible so you're smarter you can understand things better you can um, expound on things 
um, in a more succinct way than someone who just speaks one language. The other reason why um, I would encourage, why you must teach your children your native tongue is self-identity, you know, your own personality, social acceptance of self, connecting to who you are, right? The child will feel, have this, you know, acceptance of self and I, the identity of self and connect better to their parent. So if they are dealing or have to interact with anyone else, they can know that, oh, I can speak their language. They can connect to your traditions better because they understand the language, even if, you know, even if they eat the food even better. They can connect with your traditions, your rich. We know a lot of, um, worldwide, there's so many rich traditions and cultures. When you break, when you teach your child your language, if something, if a cultural event is going on, or an expression or whatever a festival your child can understand that easily then you having to translate it in English you know what I mean they can absorb it there and be able to connect to grandmother to the generations before you and the generations before you the generations before you right so why not why not give them that gift there are so many other reasons but the last reason why you must teach your children your native tongue is that there is market potential for anyone who speaks more than one language there are those who need translators, right? They need translators, transcribers, translators, right? They need those who can write it, can speak it, um, those who can edit documents, those who can edit sound from one language to another. So if, you're, if, if you teach your child your own native tongue, that could be, there could be a need for that language to be transcribed uh, or overall translated by someone and that child could get that position and there goes a way to make money right um, a lot of universities now and um, yeah a lot of universities now are hiring professors to teach native tongues to their students and also a lot of countries are looking for translators in a lot of native tongues, Yoruba included. Yoruba included. So why would I not teach my children the language? There's just so many good reasons. And now the overall reason is this, the, oh, and a very good reason that I, why I have chosen to have my children speak Yoruba is we can connect so easily. We can connect so much and they can understand my childhood. I, I know when I tell my daughter stories of my childhood, she laughs so hard. She said, Mommy, it would not be as funny in English. It wouldn't be because these English and Yoruba are totally different languages. Yoruba is a tonal language. English isn't, right? So you have to get the tone right. You know, there's so many tones in Yoruba languages, right? Also, in our expressions, we can be like hammer and nail, you know, hammer to nail with the way we express our words. Um, it's very sharp. Yoruba proverbs are, are just life lesson teaching. They make you, they're thought provoking. So I love all that richness of it. Um, and Yoruba is a tonal langu language and English is not. So there are just certain, um, there's just a certain essence in Yoruba language that you might not be able to express in English language. So if your child speaks English, Yoruba, or any other native tongue, why should you, why shouldn't you be proud of that? You know, why shouldn't you encourage that? And I want to speak to our society, to Nigerians as a whole. All right. Okay. The rest is going to be in English, sorry, because there's so many people who don't speak Yoruba. So, please let us start to encourage each other to promote the language so you must teach your children this native tongue so that it doesn't die we need to speak continue to speak this language all of us have this 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 false truth we are so lost that we think everything that is european or everything that is not ours is um, better than ours when the fact and proven fact and reality is that we've been so blessed with so much 